I know you like it when I kiss your neck. Go, 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 go. Intense Roots Natural Hair Care Line is the best brand that I have used for my hair in so long. The smells to their products smell so good. They're so nice and refreshing. You leave your hair smelling good, looking clean, and refreshed. The curls will always be popping when you use Intense Roots. So try out Intense Roots. Keep that crown of yours looking good. Hello, guys. I hope everyone is having a good day. Now, today I'm just going to be sharing a few tips on one of the first steps anyone should make before even thinking about purchasing a home. So, I just want to take a few minutes of your time and just go over one of the first steps to purchasing a home. And we're going to talk about getting pre-approved. That's one of the most important steps before you can even purchase a home. Now, some places people call it a pre-qualification and some places call it pre-approval pre and they use the words interchangeably. But in today's lesson or whatever, I'm going to be teaching you that they, it, there are it's a difference in certain places because in some places a pre-qualification is just simply where they're just asking you a few questions about your finances. They're not going in debt. They're not really having you send in any financial statements or anything. And then they're doing a soft credit pool. Now, a pre-approval is more in debt where they're going to be asking you to send in financial statements. They're going to be looking at your employment history. They're going to be looking at your credit history. And they're going to do a hard inquiry pull on your credit. Now, I know, don't get scared by the word hard inquiry. <laughs> it's not going to affect your credit. It, it will bring your credit down a few points. But here's the thing, most credit companies give you a window of 30 days, you know, to shop for a home and they understand that you're going to be shopping. So they give you that 30 day window to do your house shopping. Now, what you need to keep in mind, they're not saying that you can go and try to purchase a car purchase furniture, open up new credit cards, that, you know, get personal loans. They're not wanting you to do any of that during this time when you're trying, you know, to purchase a home. All right, guys, I also want to add, once the lender do the hard inquiry and they pull your credit and they come back and they tell you that you're not a good candidate right now, meaning that they're not going to give you an approval letter, most lenders offer credit counseling. So they'll tell you what it is that they found when they pulled your credit. And they'll tell you what you need to work on. Please, please listen to whatever the loan officer um, tells you. Whatever the lender tells you that you need to do to get your credit score up so that they'll approve you. And give you the approval letter. So it's not the end all, guys. Whatever they tell you, listen to what they're telling you because everybody's situation is different. It's different things that they may tell you that you need to work on. And then they may tell you to come back in 30 days or 60 days after you've done whatever they told you to do. Or sometimes, like I say, they offer credit counseling. Some some of them, uh, the credit counseling that they offer is free. They may put you in a program or something and have you to do a few things to get your credit where it needs to be. So do whatever they're telling you to do so that you can get it to where it needs to be. And like I said, when you get the pre-approval letter, then you'll be able to know what type of loan you'll qualify for, you know, versus, you know, FHA loan, they tell you what type of loan you'll qualify for, conventional loan, so on and so forth. There's different type of um, loans. And then also based on your credit score, 
most of the time with the FHA loan, your credit score has to be at least a 580 or above. And also, guys, they have different um, down payment assistance programs out here. But we'll leave all that in another video to talk about um, all the different programs that they have out here to offer um, for first-time homebuyers. But this video is primarily about just the first step to even get approved for a, you know, a loan when you're trying you know, to purchase a home. When you're doing for a home, be very, very careful because when you're going through that pre-approval process, if the lenders see that you have other people pulling your credit other than that's in that circle for purchasing a home, it could affect when they're making a decision on how much money that they're going to lend you. Because that's the whole purpose of getting the pre-approval. So you can see the amount, the dollar amount that the lender is going to approve you. Because think about it. You don't want to start going searching for houses, getting your hopes up high, and you don't even know how much you're going to be approved. So that's the first step is to get that pre-approval letter so you'll know the amount that the lender is willing to send you. And you can make the process easier, okay, if you're a W-2 employee, go ahead and have your tax records, W-2 forms, Go ahead and have your um, check, check stub statements. Go ahead and have all of that. Get your bank statements. Have all of those things ready because those are some of the things that the lender is going to be asking you for when they're um, pulling your credit and they're looking over your finances. So if you be proactive, then that will help speed up your process. Now, if you're self-employed, then most lenders they want to see your 1099 and they usually go back two years so you want to have that information um available and you'll have bank statements and etc available as well also is um utilizing and making sure that you t listen to what the lender is asking make sure that you're communicating have it be email or whatever, however you say that you want to be, you know, to communicate the best way of communication. Because if they're trying to text you or however you say you want them to contact you, calling you, texting or emailing, you got to be available so that when they're reaching out and they're needing things from you, you can go ahead and get those things in. Now, most um, places, it usually takes maybe 24 hours to a week. It could possibly take up a week to get your approval. But once you get that approval, then you know what you're working with. And then you'll know how much money that the lender is willing um, to lend you. Now, when you get the final, final approval, where they give you the okay that you can get your home, they are gonna do one more credit uh, check. They're going to do another credit check just to make sure nothing has happened from the last time that they gave you your pre-approval letter. And um, also the pre-approval letter, the, the first pre-approval letter, it usually lasts for 90 days. But don't panic. If you don't find a home within those 90 days, you can always get that pre-approval letter updated. And, you know, because they know some people can't find a home in 90 days. But um, you'll just keep getting it updated until you find your home. So, like I said, the main thing, I know you may want to get you a new car, a brand new car to pull up in the driveway. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Do not go open up no kind of accounts, credit cards, loan, get personal loan. Don't do any of that during the time that you're house hunting. If y'all don't remember nothing else in this video that I'm telling you, do not do that. Because that, that could lessen the amount that they end up giving you. And then you, you may not get the amount of money that you want. To get the house that you want to get in so just try to keep 
these small um, tips in my, and also, I left this out. During the time that you are house hunting, do not switch jo jobs or try to quit your job. Please do not do that. If you feel that you need to uh, make some kind of decision, consult with your loan officer. Talk to the loan officer or lender, whomever, and let them know what you're thinking about doing and they will better assist you to let you know if that's the right move or not before you make that decision. Because that's the worst thing that you want to do is, you know, say, you know, you get the pre-approval letter. Then the next day you call your job and say, I quit. Then, and then the lender finds out. And, you know, when you get your final approval and they go back and try to uh, check your employment verification. And then the um, employers say, oh, they no longer um, is employed here. That will be devastating. So that's the one thing that I don't, that's another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. When you're house hunting, stay steady on your job and do everything that you need to do as normal so that you don't have any um, things that can interfere um, with you uh, losing your pre-approval or not getting approved for the amount of money um, that you want. So I hope these tips that I shared with you today, I'm going to be coming on here. Um, that's my plan is to share more tips so that you will feel more comfortable when you go out here, you'll know what to do, where to look for. You can go to banks, you can go through credit unions. Those are places or mortgage companies. Um, they do have mortgage companies where you can start when you're trying to um, look for a home and then also, you know, contacting um, an, an agent as well. But the first step, you, you need to, you know, get a lender that someone that you feel comfortable with. And then sometimes your agent, most agents have lenders too as well that they work with closely with that they can connect you with if you don't already have a lender or a bank or a credit union or whomever that you want to go through to get your loan. So again, I hope um, what I shared today um, help you guys. So the note that I want you to remember is that before you can even go out and go house shopping and looking for a house, the best thing to do is always get that pre-approval letter so you'll know that dollar amount that you have to work with. And knowing that, that helps give you several options and you'll know what your options are versus going looking at houses that you may not even qualify for. So um, keep that tip that I gave you guys and go out and get that pre-approval letter and get into the house of your choice. And until next time, I'll be sharing more videos on this channel on how to get your home. And again, if you haven't went to my website, I would love, love for you guys to go look at some of my listings. You can go to LasharianTaylor.com. That's L-A-S-H-A-Y-R-I-A-N Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R. Dot com. That's my website where you can go look at all of my listings. And then I'll, I'll put all of my information um, in the description below in this video. And if you are looking for houses or in the market to buy or sell, contact me. I am LaSharian Taylor, the realtor. Let me help you find the home of your dreams. I will make your home purchasing experience a great one. Please contact me at the numbers below. Serious inquiries only. Let's you get the How job you feeling, done. Real on your first showing, man. How you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm well, you, excited. Hey, change that voice, man. Listen, you cannot tell me how to talk, okay? I want that voice. When go, I, go, no, anime. No, go, no. Go, <laughs> go, anime. <laughs> go, anime. When I'm handling business, I, I speak the way that I want to speak, okay? When we get when back home, get you that? tell me that. Hey, oh. That's what you do. That's what you do. Tell me that when, when you get back home. When you get back home, anime, I want you to tell me that, anime. When it comes to money, 
I I carry and put on the voice that I want. Oh, <laughs> so you putting on right now? You are.